Okay, recording. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it's going to show the full scale. I, I did try to um, change it that way so that it wouldn't be... Um, how do you say it? Well, anyway, to make it more as panorama, I guess. So this is just to try try out different, like, uh, how am I actually able to actually do this? But yeah, anyway, uh, the box is here. So this is a small hole of uh, Hoyas. And um, I'll just open this up and then I'm going to continue with this one because it's really hard to do with one hand. And so let me get back to you. Right then. So this is how it looks like when open up. And sorry, I'm not any more excited because I'm really tired. I walk like five kilometers back and forth. I just went for a walk at the same time just to get fresh air. So now I have like exhausted all my enthusiasm with that. I did take uh, extra how do you call it, um, frost insurance. They have this thing, I think it's like a bit over two euros per plant. So basically if I take that and they'll be packing it up and it fails and the plant dies, I get a new plant uh, re uh, recovered from that. So basically uh, they're just putting extra layers onto that. And it seems to be working because I was a bit worried because uh, this is, uh, by the way, I ordered this from Class and or Orchids or Orchidine from uh, from Netherlands. I'm going to link it down below. Not sure if I'm going to put it up. Sorry, I have cut my finger. So, um, yeah, let's see if I'm able to actually open this up without with only one hand. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's going to be one of these that I'm like putting it on and putting it off and sorry about the shaky. But anyway, uh, this is the first one. I can see that uh, to my eyes, they are quite well packaged and they don't feel like that much cold. Uh, let me get the name for you. Mm. I, I think I have to like... I'll open these, all of these, these packages, <sighs> unless I'm asking, like, for somebody to come and uh, record this just a minute. No, I don't think I'm getting any assistance from Junior. I'll just have to do this one by one. So I'm going to open all of these. If there is something, like, which isn't as well packages or pack packed as well, darn it. Don't even know how to speak anymore but yeah so i'll get back to that and i'll open this and give you the names and uh, show them to you afterwards but yeah i i think this is like pr pretty well actually packaged if you if you look at this it's they are not like moving around so if, i know our post office in finland is just like a nightmare they'll just like kill anything with which they can get their hands onto. So I'm really happy about this, that how they actually package this to actually be saved from that kind of treatment. I know it's not the employee's fault, it's just how the system works, so yeah. Well, this is a small one. Might be that I actually bought really small cutting or something like that. Uh, but. I don't, I'm not sure if it's okay. I think I'm going to put this one into my terrarium. Or actually, it's nowadays paludarium because there is water at the bottom. But yeah, so this one was um, something new. Yeah, I'll take that off at some point and then I'm going to put everything in which need, need some sort of TLC. They are going into my paludarium to get some warmth and nice humid environment and they can bounce back easily after they have been quarantined of course but yeah just a second i'll continue okay 
So this is what I have bought. I actually don't remember something like that. I think I looked at it, but I'm sh I, I'm not sure if I actually bought anything like that. Might be that I'm I was mixing up or something. Anyway, that's Hoya, and then I have few in here. If it's going to focus, yeah, that's one you actually saw. That's the Kentia or something similar. That's the Obavaza. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully nobody got dizzy because of that. I think it's reverting. So there is like a little bit of the coloration. I bought this because of the, uh, the color, which is inside here. Anyway, now I can start to show you which what plants I have bought. This one is really tiny and all. So this is um, Hoya I'm not sure if that's Kayana Kumanana or Rana or something like that but the flower is supposed to be white red Yeah, that little thing let me get it off so the, these ones won't crush it. But I think it looks ra rather nice, don't you? I I like the how the sh shape of the leaves and how they are like curly like that, and it does have little bit splashes uh, splashes of white. Hmm. I need to see where it lives, so if I'm going to put it into my paludarium, but some some place which is warm and humid, I think, or cool and humid, I I need to check this one, so it can get like a really good start of of its life, and then this one. Hoya kumingiana. Okay, did I buy this? Because I, I'm sure I didn't. I mean, I, I checked the coming Gianna and I thought that, okay, that's not like that sort of Hoya which I want to have. But I might have. I need to actually check my... The list. Yeah, the order list or something. Uh, it's not here. I couldn't see anything. I think it's up down there. But yeah. Anyway, this is well. Uh, this is Hoya obovata, which you al already might know. And the name Hoya obovata picta variegata. Don't even know how to pronounce things anymore. Yes, and then there is this one, which is called, let me get the name, yeah, Hoya Kentiana Vajeti, okay, so it's like, it's Hoya Kentiana, which is the, like the name of it, and the variety name is Vajeti, so that's why people are mixing them up, I guess, so... Yeah, not too bad. I like the soil. They have nice soil in there, so it's not like really hard packed. I'm not sure if this is a uh, coloration due to the light or is it like um, it feels a bit uh, soft, but so does just these. So it might be like it's a new leaf and that's why it's colored like this. I hope it's not the cold damage. I already lost one of these. My sister bought me one and it just went downhill when I got it. It just started rotting from inside and I couldn't save it. It just I couldn't even save it for from cuttings or anything. They just rotted away as well. So it was really fast. And then there is this I think it's Bilobata. Oh Bilobata. Yeah, I guess that was the name. 
I need to check. I'll uh, list the names down below <laughs> so you actually know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's a cute one. I like these fussy looking leaves. They are not fussy in a way. It's not like it's not like hairy. It feels like um, a bit velvety. It's not uh, smooth. There is something on, on its leaves which makes it feel so funny. But yeah. So, these were all things I bought. Not that much, not huge. I just wanted to... I had like a couple of others, but I can put them uh, on my trolley when I was buying this. But then I put them away because I could get them here as well. Don't remember what they was, but yeah, it, they were something really like common things. Not the princesses and the queens and all these, because I have those. Well, few strands of it. <laughs> uh, Mealy Box got them. <laughs> That's a whole nother, another story. I'm on top of it, but it's like I had like two full lush plants. And now they are like only few, uh, three or four strands. So I'm hoping they are going to uh, grow quite fast. But yeah, I do like the common obavata too which looks like that i might actually at some point if it starts to grow faster than this one which is like um, which has this variation i might actually cut that off and keep it like uh, as a uh, one plant itself but it now it's only like two leaves so i'm going to let it grow here and let's see how it goes yeah anyway i was going to buy that uh, common vata as well <laughs> but this coming jana mm, i think i took the wrong plant away or something i was supposed to get something else and for some odd reason i bought this unless i'm going to check the uh, what i ordered but uh, might be that it was my own, like, I'm, I'm hiccup or mix. But I'm sure I didn't want this one. Because um, this looks like, this is just growing like this. It's like, um, I don't know how to say it. It looks like some of those plants which you find from the side of the road or something. So, sorry, if you like, really love Kumingiana, I'm, I'm sure somebody really loves it. And I might learn to like it, you never know. I'm going to let it do its thing and let's see if I like it that much that I will actually keep it. But if not, I might actually sell it to somebody who actually gives some love and attention to it. I really like this one. It had me already uh, when I saw it, and even though it's it looks the lousiest one, <laughs> so it still is nice. I think every everything here was like around ten euros or something. So I guess these are good size to be ten euro euros plants. They were li li little less like. Some of them were like seven euros or something like similar. So, yeah. And I really like this one. What was your name? Bilopata? Yep. So, hopefully I'm going to be able to actually get this survived. Yeah. But yeah, here they are. Everything. Everyone. Lovely. I think I have now, here's five three I have ten Hoyas now Ooh. <laughs> sounds like I'm getting Hoya head and now no don't worry I'm fixing it I've just ordered a 13 yeah I know some people are really superstitious about that number but I ordered 13 13 I think that's the right term pronouncing it but anyway um 13 new orchids for myself so i'll let you guys know how this went hopefully this uh picture was 
wide enough and you could actually see the plants and I didn't shake too much of my hand but yeah thanks for watching <clears throat> leave a comment if you have something to comment in here and tell uh, tag me if you have something like or tell me if you are actually doing your own haul with uh, orchids or for example with um, Hoyas I really like uh, love those things I like to see other people buying those so Bye-bye.